Hey, what's going on, people? Barry Fox here, and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix your FPS, improve your performance, and decrease your input delay in Warzone 2.0 Season 3, which has been dropped recently. Once again, I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to watch it till the end. Do not forget to leave your specs down in the comments below as usual so I can help you out individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is checking for Windows updates and this is really important. For that, you need to search for settings on your Windows and then you need to go to the last option which is the Windows update option. If there are any updates available, you need to make sure to install all of them since Windows fixes their bugs very frequently and if there are any bugs which are being an issue and will affect your FPS, this might fix the case so make sure to keep your windows up to date always i would like to introduce you all to obvious and remote a one-stop shop solution for using your pc anytime anywhere using your mobile phone it's available for windows android and ios Obvious and Remote has a wide variety of features that can mirror your phone or PC and control it with a virtual mouse. You can even play games on it at up to 144 FPS with a customizable keyboard without any issues. If you need any other layout, you can create it using this feature. They have also recently added the security settings to keep your device even more safe. You can get Obvious and Remote for free or you can get its game version to get access to your PC's game library and features to play from anywhere. You can even get up to 40% discount too and from the link in the description below you can get a free 7 days trial. They also have a smart plug that can turn your PC on or off remotely from your phone and it is really convenient and reliable. So links in the description below, go check out Obvious and Remote, thanks for sponsoring this video. Then let's move to step number 2 that is the best windows settings and for that you need to go over to your gaming section then go over to game mode and make sure that game mode is enabled this will basically optimize your pc by turning background applications off completely and that will save a lot of memory in the background right beneath that go over to the graphic settings and then click on change default graphic settings make sure to enable both of these options go back to graphics and then click on browse and then go to the install location of Call of Duty Warzone. I've already added Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare, both of them. So once you've added them, go to options and then select high performance. Click on save and do the same with this one as well. Step number three is deanimating your windows. Windows by default has a lot of animations so disabling them will save a lot of memory and will of course increase your performance drastically. So for that you need to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then click on adjust for best performance. Then click on smooth edges of screen fonts as well as show thumbnail instead of icons and then simply click on apply. And this will only keep some of those animations but once again if this is going to be an issue for you you can always set for best appearance. Right after that in the advanced section make sure to choose process scheduling to program. Programs. By default, it could be background services for many laptop users, so make sure to put it to programs. Then click on apply. Step number four is system configuration. And this is really a simple step. Simply search for system configuration on your PC and open it up. In this small window, you're looking for the boot section. Click on advanced options. Click on number of processes and select the maximum number of processes available for you. Click on OK and then click on apply. This is going to decrease your boot time, help your PC to boot up using all of the processors and it also helps in gaming for a long run. So make sure to do this setting. Step number five is disabling the startup applications. And this is also a really important step. Simply search and open for task manager. In here, go to the startup applications and make sure to disable all of the unwanted and unnecessary startup applications that you do not really need. Since application while booting up may cause a lot of memory usage in the background and also decrease your network performance and memory performance and disk performance as well. You always need to make sure that you minimize most of the applications that you do not really need with the booting up of your PC. Step number six is fixing all of your network issues. And for that, I would highly recommend you guys to use exit lag. Exit lag is one of the pros choice and you can get this software from the link in the description below for absolutely free for three days. Simply click on this get exit lag button, download and install it. 
Once you open up Exit Deck, the interface looks like this. In here, you will find this list where you can search from games over 250 games from this list. And I'll be searching for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Simply select the nearest game region to me, that is Singapore 01, as this gives me the lowest ping, that is 50 to 53 MS. Then simply click on Apply Routes, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare will be automatically added to your recent list. The best part of this application is the dedicated tools section where you can go to the FPS boost panel, enable the first, third, fourth, fifth and second last option to maximize your gameplay performance. And just by doing these steps, you can see drastic FPS boost on your PC. So I would definitely recommend you guys to check exit lag. It really helps me out and it will definitely help you out too. Once again, exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription for exit lag. And if this really works for you, you can go with the 1 month, 6 month and 12 month subscription as per as you need. However, if you grow from the link in the description below, you will get a flat 44% discount as well as an additional 10% discount on your first purchase. So make sure to choose wisely. Step number 7 is creating a restore point and this is really simple. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then click on system protection. Go over to local disk C which says system. Click on create and name it warzone 2.0. Make sure not to skip this step as it is really beneficial for your system's safety. If anything goes wrong, you can always restore everything back to normal. Simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the warzone 2 season 3 FPS pack. You can download it from the link in the description below and this is really essential. In here you will find in 4 folders and in the first one you can go and find the AMD or Intel folder. Basically you need to select which CPU you are using. And to know your CPU you can simply search for system information on your PC and then look for the processor. As you can see I am using an AMD processor so I need to use the AMD CPU registry. It could be different for you so you can choose any one of them. Make sure to run this registry file and this registry file if you are using an AMD CPU. Go over to the game optimization. Now in here you will find in two simple registries. First one is the low mid optimization and second one is the mid high optimization. Now you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below so I can reply which one you need to use. And once you know the registry file that you need to use, you can start using it right away. Make sure that I have also left the default registry files if you do not like it you can always revert it back to normal. Third folder is the RAM optimization. And once again, I'm using 16 GB RAM on my PC. If you want to know which RAM you're using, you need to search for system information once again. And right over here, install physical memory. This is the memory that you're using on your PC. So 16 GB is for me. It could be different for you. So I have left a lot of presets over here, including the reset to default preset. So you can choose any one of them, which ever you are using on your PC. Last one is the programs folder and you will find an MSI utility v3 as well as clean temporary files. Let's start with the first one that is cleaning our temporary files as this is really essential step to do it. Simply right click and run this as administrator. This will ask you a little window to delete all of the temporary files. You can simply press any key and it will start deleting all of the unnecessary files on your PC. Don't worry, it is completely safe and it only removes the unnecessary or unwanted files on your PC. It doesn't really impact the performance but it will boost your PC's memory. Right after that, use the MSI Utility V3, run this as administrator as well and this small window will pop right in front of you. What you're looking for over here is your graphic card. For me, it is my graphic card listed over here. So from undefined, you need to select high and now simply click on apply. This will prioritize your graphic card. And once it is done, simply click on close. And now let's move to the last step that is the best in game settings. Okay, once you opened up your game, what you're looking for is the settings gear right over here. Then go over to the graphics section. Now, once you are here, select your display mode to full screen exclusive and then your display monitor to your primary monitor. For your display adapter, go with the primary graphic card and for the screen refresh rate, what you're looking for is 239 or the maximum screen rate that is available for you. Right after that, your display resolution should be your base resolution. However, you can go for a lower resolution for more FPS. For dynamic resolution, you can turn this on, go for show more options and then select the dynamic resolution all the way to max. Then scroll down, aspect ratio should be your native monitor aspect ratio. Then for vSync, both of them, make sure to turn it off. For custom frame rate limit, go to unlimited. Scroll down until you find display gamma and select 2.2 sRGB. Right after that, make sure high dynamic range is turned off. Now for the quality section, for the render resolution, you can go with 100. But if you lower it down, you will be getting much more FPS. So for that, I would recommend you guys to go somewhere between 70 to 80. And that is going to give you much better FPS. 
Then for the upscaling, you can go and check out all of these options. However, currently FSR 2.1 and Fidelity FX Cast is working the best. So make sure to choose any one of both of them. For my PC, Fidelity FX Cast works best. Then for anti-aliasing, go with SMAA T2X. Anti-aliasing quality, go with normal. For video memory scale, go between 70 to 80. For texture resolution, go for low. Anisotropic filtering, go with normal. Nearby level of detail, low. Distant level of detail, low. Then all of these options should be low. Except the cluttered or distance, you need it long. Then for bullet impacts and persistent damage layers, keep both of them off. Shader quality, low. Tessellation, off. On demand texture streaming off and streaming quality low, volumetric quality, anything related to volumetric should be turned low as this is the drastic FPS consumer. Right after that, water quality, you can go with wave wetness. Scroll down and set everything to low except spot cache, you need it high. Then everything else to off and low. And for the Nvidia Reflex low latency, you can choose between on or on plus boost. For some of you guys, on works best and for some on plus boost work best. So make sure to choose any one of them and then everything else keep it off over to the view section and make sure that your fov is all the way to max and that's how you will get a wider detail and much better look for the ads field of view go with affected weapon field of view go with wide 3d person field of view go with 90 vehicle field of view go with wide and for the shake and movement go with least as you do not want your image to be shaky and that's gonna impact your gameplay performance so once again go with least and follow the same settings also before dropping into the game make sure your shader optimization is completely done and you do not have anything left just to get much higher fps and low fps drops while in the game so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below it really helps me out a lot also do leave a comment down below with your pc specifications and i'll be replying to each one of you individually we'll see you in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out